Hi and welcome to Configuring the Wireless Sunday. I'd like to apologise for the quality of the video. We were unable to do a screen capture uh, on this unit so we actually used the camera and we had to video the actual monitor. So once again I apologise for the quality. Okay, once you turn on your Sunday you are presented with the main screen. We click our setup button and the first thing we'll do here is turn on our wireless option. Once we turn that on we are then presented with an edit button. We'll go in here and you are shown all the available WAP or wireless access points. Select the one you wish to use and click edit. I've already entered our SSID and password um, here so you just simply click the connect button and see if we can get a connection to our wireless access point. Okay we've been told that our connection failed so when we click OK we are now presented with all the authentication or security options for that wireless access point. Select the one you use, click connect and we'll see if we can get a connection to our WAP. Okay we've been told that we have a successful connection now we are shown that we actually the, the SSID and that we actually have a uh, we're connected. There are two options for setting the IP address on the Sunday. You can use a dynamic or static. If you wish to enter a static IP, just simply enter the IP address for the Sunday here. Of course, your subnet mask and gateway. In our case, we'll use a dynamic IP and get our IP address from our DHCP server on the network. There are three options for um, connecting to servers. You can use select servers on a search servers on the LAN. Any servers that have the NetPoint software installed will be shown up on the main screen for your selection. You can also enter the server name or IP address and this can actually be on a WAN as well. So uh, any terminal server in the world you just simply put in its uh, name and address here. If you use a non-standard RDP port just simply put a colon and the port number you wish to use. You can use a group of servers so if the user has an option to connect to more than one server enter the IP address once again if it's a non-standard RDP port put that at the end if you use the standard 3389 just leave that empty just put the IP address or the actual um, DNS name of the uh, server. You have the option to put in four servers here. In our case we'll just use the IP address. Once we click save the Sunday will now connect us to our terminal server and you just enter your password and you're in. We'll cancel out of here and go back to the Sunday and go into the setup screen once again. Now if you wish to have the Sunday automatically log you in you can enter your domain name your username and the password of the terminal server that you're connecting to. Once you've entered those in and clicked the save button the Sunday will now take us to our terminal server and log us straight in. It's very fast. Okay there we are logged in. We'll just run a browser just to show you it's working. Okay now we'll go back to the Sunday log off. Every time you log off of a server you're automatically taken back to the Sunday log uh, main screen. Okay if you wish to have a program start on login might be a single application server just enter the full path of the program here in the folder. We don't need that so we'll turn it off. You can also choose to have a screen saver for after 15 minutes or keep the monitor on. Your selection for screen resolutions uh, here. The color depth of course 16 bit much faster over a WAN but we're on a LAN here so we'll use a high quality 24 bit and you can use horizontal or vertical monitors. This option allows you to disable the local USB ports or sound ports on the Sunday so users can't put USB ports in and drag information off your server. You can also choose the language you wish to run and here we have our kernel and program versions. Should you receive a firmware update simply click this button, plug in your USB stick with the firmware update, click OK, it will find it and install the update. We don't have any of course so we just uh, cancel out of that. Now if you wish to protect the Sunday you can enter a password here or protect the configuration screen I should say. Enter your password and confirm it. Now we'll connect back to our terminal server. So we click the save button 
we are logged straight on. Now we'll go back, log off by going back to the Sunday main screen. When we click set up this time we are prompted for the password to enter the configuration area. So enter your password, click the OK button and we are back into our configuration screen. We'll turn that off. The other option that uh, we have is that if we don't wish to have the users um, have password, we just put in the username, leave the password blank, the user is then has their username automatically entered for them. You just simply enter your password and log in to your terminal server session. Okay, back to the main screen and that's it. Uh, very simple to manage and look after this Sunday. Thank you.